Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. So much energy in the studio tonight. We just wrapped up a terrific game between two teams, Defiance and Delphus Jefferson, and here is the score. Defiance came away with 95 points, Delphus Jefferson with 105 and went down to sudden death. That means Delphus will be moving on to the championship game and then they will take on the winner of this game coming up now between Finley and Coldwater High Schools. We want to introduce you to the players joining us from Finley. We have Julia Boland, Brian Yeo, Kayla Keckler, and Jamie Tesnow. And Finley is coached by David Barkey. All right, turning now to Coldwater. We have Kathy Langenkamp, Dane Rindler, Martin Wagner, and Alex Waltmeyer. Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome back to all of you. All right, we have our first two rounds here before we take a commercial break. First round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. It's especially important in this game that you speak loudly and clearly and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Number one, name the first person to fly nonstop from New York to Paris. Yes, that would be Finley. Charles Lindbergh. Charles Lindbergh is correct. Which word identifies a person who is abnormally worried about his or her health? Yes, cold water. Paranoid. Paranoid is incorrect. Finley? Hypochondriac. That is the answer there, hypochondriac. All right, question three. What is the only prime factor of 27? Yes, cold water. Three. Three is the answer. Which U.S. president studied at Oxford as a Rhodes? Yes, cold water. Woodrow Wilson. That is incorrect. Finley, do you want me to complete the question? Which U.S. president studied at Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar? Yes. Calvin Coolidge. That is also incorrect. Bill Clinton is the answer. All right, number five. Which two sites on the Earth's surface are located at 90 degrees latitude? Yes, cold water. The North and South Pole. You are correct, the North and South Pole. All right, identify the British author that wrote Through the Looking Glass. Cold water. Lewis Carroll. That is correct, Lewis Carroll. What four-letter word names a sculpture of a person's head and neck? Yes, cold water. Bust. Bust is the answer. In which year were Hiroshima and Nagasaki hit? Yes, that would be Finley. 1945. You are correct. Name the musical that is about the rise of the Four Seasons group. Yes, Finley. Jersey Boys. You are correct, Jersey Boys. And your final question in round one. What is the only U.S. state to, to border Maine? Yes, cold water. New Hampshire. That is correct, New Hampshire. All right, we've come to the end of round one, and here's our score. Finley, you have 40 points. Cold water with 50. That means cold water, you are going to lead the second round with five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. All right, give the English word for the French word chapeau. Yes. Mansion. That is incorrect. The answer is hat. All right, number two. Name the ninth and the 23rd U.S. presidents that share the last name. All right, time is up. The answers, William Henry Harrison and Benjamin Harrison. 
All right. In which city is the Gateway Arch located? Yes. St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis is correct. All right, two questions remaining here. What is the sum of the distinct prime factors of 12? Yes. Seven. Seven is incorrect. The answer is five. All right, you have one question remaining here. Identify the Kentucky frontiersmen who helped carve out the Wilderness Road. Yes. Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone is correct. All right, moving over to Finley now. Everybody set here? Name the area at the base of a brain that controls hunger, thirst, and breathing. Yes. The brain stem. The brain stem is incorrect. It's hypothalamus. All right. In music, what C word designates a set of notes sounded together? Yes. Chord. Chord is correct. What is the maximum area of a rectangle whose perimeter is four inches? Yes. Twelve. 12 is incorrect, it would be one square inch. All right, two questions remaining here. What are the two parts of every independent clause or complete sentence? Yes. Subject and predicate. You are correct, very good. All right, and here's your final question in round two. Give the nickname for the generation born 1946 to 1964. Yes. The baby boomers. Baby boomers is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two, and it is a close one. Here's our score. Finley, you have 55 points. Coldwater was 60. We'll be back with the final round right after the break. <laughs>